All right, so so another thing, so guys, so um, so the other day, um, you know, a lot of our podcast topics come based upon conversations that's just we've seen. I had a ridiculous conversation with one of my homeboys, a delusional male, which is going to be probably the next thing we talk about after this. Me and my homeboy, we're talking, we're just talking, we're just basically talking sports, right? And first and foremost, we're talking basketball. And, you know, I hate talking basketball with cats because I think basketball is like two things that I feel are the most skilled sports that you have to do. Like no one says, and football is a pretty skilled sport, but no one says, hey, man, I can beat that person in, in, in football, right? Everyone goes, okay. And like, no one says that, right? Because I guess everyone has a general perception. Shit. But for Everybody some reason, tried it. <laughs> yeah, Most for people. some reason, yeah, probably so, right? People tried it and they couldn't hack it, whatever. It is what it is. But I think that's a, for some that's reason. A completely, like when you think about football, like even college athletes, like when they get to the NFL, it's like a whole different monster <laughs> over there. Like, what? <laughs> Y'all athletes, athletes, right? <laughs> right. For whatever reason, though, basketball and fighting. Basketball and fight. I don't understand why the fighting thing. Mm. Is like, you see them. You that see what sense. they're doing. <laughs> and you've never done it. All right? Basketball and fighting are the two things that mo- and oftentimes men, there are two things that men go are just completely delusional about. And we had a conversation in regards to WNBA. My homeboy was basically saying that we're kind of discussing kind of like the um, the conversation. I think one of uh, the analysts or something on one of these sports shows out of ESPN or whatever, or Fox, I guess had a WWE player there and they, I guess they made a suggestion of lowering the rim to make it more entertaining. Mm-hmm. And, you know, me and him were on like different sides of the argument, but I guess it was just a conversation of just like, well, hey, you know, he felt like WNBA players and NBA players are just on a completely different tier and there's like, there's nothing, right? And then he just started like naming these like ridiculous things like a WNBA, the top five women or a WNBA team couldn't be a college D1 team or something of that nature. And there was all this other weird stuff. Mm. So it, li- it, it, was, it was a little crazy, right? Because then it led to some other conversations that we're going to talk about later. But just starting off, it made me think about the WNBA and what's going on, right? And I know that the WNBA had like a huge push with Kobe, right? A super huge push with Kobe. Um, but still, there's still that conversation. Like I think I just saw a commercial on HBO um, uh, about well, female athletes and you know wanting equal pay, the, the, the struggle for equal pay, and so on and so forth. Mm. And you know, oftentimes we understand that one of the reasons why the w, the NBA makes so much money is because you know, it is, it generates a lot of income. Um, it's right. all the eyes are on the NBA right now. There is, um, the, there's all the sponsorings and all the other stuff that coming from the NBA. So the question is, I posed two questions for the podcast. Mind you, if we can try not to get canceled, that'd be great. <laughs> Just got started. At this podcast, you uh, speak our minds. Okay. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, you don't have to be canceled. Uh, <laughs> but shit, I right. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to well, know the answer to a question, don't ask it. Because <laughs> you already know. So what's, what's the questions? <laughs> well, all right. Can the WNBA ever get to a point where they're just as coveted as the NBA? Number one. Are you speaking two, to talent? Oh, go ahead. Second, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, well, ta- yeah, that talent. Um, just in general. Or, just, or fandom, or fandom, yeah. just general fandom. Like, yeah. can okay. the general fandom get to a point where NBA, the WNBA is just as popular as the NBA? What's the second? Um, huh? I said, what's the second? And then, what is it that you guys think that, from your perspective, that you need to see to have the NBA, the WNBA, just be as popular? For me, I think it's possible only because, for me, I had a very, like, I had a very, so I just give my opinion <laughs> out the way, right? Um, so I think, yes, it can. I think that the WNBA is a very young league in comparison to the NBA. I think, Chris, what we say, like 1949, I think it was? 1949, NBA, NBA 1996 was WNBA. Okay. So what the, were these? The, the, the 1996, NBA. 
is a year that the WNBA was a thing. Oh, okay. Nineteen forty nine. Oh, like NBA initiation. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. So beforehand, there was like so it's a it's a gen, it's a younger league. It's a, in comparison. So you have like co- female basketball has always been a thing. Yes, it has. But I mean, on a professional stage and professional level, with all the you know things being pumped into it and all the new innovations being pumped in and all the individual players being pumped into it like you understand like when Ginobili and them came into the NBA it changed the NBA they're like wait we can do that wait we don't what, what is that that's not travel mm-hmm. it's a euro step you know what I'm saying there's like there's there's a general sense of evolution that comes into the NBA for it just being there for so long you know what I'm saying like well, Before, I, I, it was I disagree like, with the, the, the time now. I don't think it needs much time. Look at the, the boxing cats that are generating crazy revenue, and they just started that. Yeah, right? yeah. It just has to be entertaining. We have to want to see it. It has nothing okay. to do with time. We have we just have to want to see it. Okay, I understand that. But, like, okay, I understand that. But when I speak to time, I'm speaking to the time of talent, like the evolutions that, that, were, that could be inputted into the sport in and of itself. Like, if you watch the WWE, if you watch the WNBA in 1996, and if you were to watch it now, these girls have gotten better. They've gotten better. They've gotten more but, accurate. I wouldn't say better. Okay. I mean, well, I mean, we're, we're we're talking of interest, right? Like it's it's mm-hmm. a spectator sport. You're looking at mm-hmm. like what actually like uh, visually um, excites you. Like you're okay. your attention to this. So I mean, like. Has it really changed from then till now? Probably not. They're not dunking. They're still not dunking. Like, it's no surprise. Like, you're not going to see, like, somebody just, like, getting posterized in the WNBA. And that's what makes the NBA so much more exciting. So, like, that, that the price, like, uh, discrep- or not discrepancy, uh, disparity disparate- disparate- or whatever, uh, the that comes from straight, like, supply and demand. Like, nobody wants to see you. Because unfortunately, your rims are as tall as the men's, and your muscles don't develop like men. So, like, even though they want to be equal and have that equal pay and all that, like the bills don't line up. Like, if you're setting up a business, you're not going to set that business up the same as the NBA because who's watching that? So, like, you could attack this from many different directions and be like it's just not worth it. Like maybe if you drop it down to, you know, like the, the, the rims in front of your house and stuff where everybody can, can dunk and have fun. Like then I'll be like, okay, what, what does the NBA have to offer right now? Like who's about to dunk on who that might spice it up. I'd be interested. (laughs) All right, Chris, I'm gonna let you go. And then I'm gonna have a Tim. (laughs) I, I, I would have to agree with Tim. Uh, no, Honestly, in my opinion, it's just not exciting. Like, there's not, I'll say it, fuck it. There's nothing a woman can do that I think to myself, damn, I wish I could do that. Nothing. There's not one thing I go and go, man, I wish I could, I could dribble the ball like she does. No. Now, in the NBA, you watch someone that to fucking jump from half, like from the free throw line and, and dunk it, you, you low key, like, can a nigga really fly? And nice. now they're shooting three points from like half court, like it's a, a free throw. You're like, God damn. And it's consistent. It's 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 entertaining. You're like, damn, this is crazy. Just yeah. consistently come out here and perform like this. That boy, good. Right. <clears throat> so. I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's two I different mean, levels me, of play. It's, it's, yeah, it's two different levels. Like I don't see a woman hooping like it's not. It doesn't entertain me. It is what it is. Okay. It could be good. They're just not entertaining. It is because I mean, like you, you take that dunking and alley oop and all of this like overly athleticism that's being displayed. That's for you know viewing pleasure. And like, what do you have left? Like, a, so the a, dunking. So, is, so 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 the dunking is like it. No, well, the dunking. The thing, is, thing the, about this, Mark. Every time someone gets posterized, what do we do? Oh shit! Did you see that shit? Yeah. Okay, so so that's what's happening. 
But dunks don't really happen in college basketball. And college basketball generates like yeah, they do. March Madness gym. Yeah, they not do. Really, not like that. Like in March Madness, like during March Madness tournaments, like do we just see dunks all the yeah. time? Yeah, yes. <laughs> yes. What are you talking <laughs> yes, about? Yes, like it's like constant break, break. Uh, what fast breaks? Break? Yeah, fast breaks. Like what do you mean? And then the, and then the, I can show you a bunch of clips of, of college ball where someone's getting jammed on. You're like, damn. So <laughs> and so you feel, and then my whole so okay, that, that's fair. I can see that point. So you feel so. But you also know this is a college. These are been, college kids too. You know this is not a pro. These are college kids. We're trying to see them develop. We want the the great part about college. Well, is what? How 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 good are they going to be once they get to the NBA? We're trying to find who's going to go and how good. Well, that's not that's not that's not why everyone watches college basketball. There's some people. Who it's fun. It's, it, 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 yeah. Lately, it's been more fun. Some people prefer. Because they well, have yeah, to they, play. They play hard. They play they offense play hard. and they play defense. Yeah. yeah, they play hard. Right. Essentially. So my my point is this. So that whole dunking element is just the sole reason that discriminates like is not entertaining. They the the things that these athletes are doing that we, me and you and Tim just can't go out there and do. Without um, we, we there's I don't no know training. about y'all, but I can do it. <laughs> there's no there's not there's not <laughs> enough training in the world that could have me leap over a building like that <laughs> so it's entertaining to watch because like damn I, I can't do that that shit looks awesome that's it and so you feel like well okay so when's the last time any of you watched the wba game mm, Honestly, since i was like in middle school like in seattle oh wait i lied to you what, what was the college game that not w it was a college so, game the last like the championship that like girl she's really really good uh i forgot which they lost, but uh, it's just watching really good players that are really fundamental. They have really good jump shots and they have really good layups, but they're extremely fundamental. Like, like if you watch them, it's yeah. not as entertaining because everything is just right by. Like, they, they're really good. Don't get me, don't get it twisted. Like, I'm not saying I can go out there and whoop a college. I mean, that's what I'm trying to figure out because it's like so. So the first argument is like, okay, <laughs> we're saying that okay, I don't find entertainment in it because. Is like the W the NBA, they're doing things that I can't necessarily do, right? Cool. That's a fair argument. I can I can honor that. Not, but not necessarily, because I mean they're taking shots and layups. Like we do that. So that's why it's not exciting, because we can do it. Yeah. I'm not Maybe not as consistent. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, because we're not getting right we're not here, getting right? paid for that. Yeah, also, you you're not how but however if I were to pay you. But but Tim, if I were to pay you, how this is what I say. Okay. If I were to pay you, or or you know, what? Go ahead, yeah. make your point because I don't want to interrupt you. Go ahead. If I take a shot and make uh-huh. it, how excited are you going to be versus me going up there and taking it between my legs and then dunking it? Like the skill levels. Like so, it's just about the athleticism. So if these girls just start dunking, then you guys would be like, I'm in it. Uh, Have you, when's, when's the last time you, <laughs> I'm guessing you watched one recently, right, Mark? Like, if you watch it, it's, it's, I don't, it's, it's, it's I'm not going to say it's hard to watch, but it's just like, it is what's for me because I want to go out there. <laughs> like, it makes me want to go it's out It's a there. lot slower. Yeah. And it's, it's a lot more. <laughs> I'm just, because the last game I watched, it was, just, it was a little frustrating, but it was like, I understood it. It was a little frustrating, like ah, 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 ah. <laughs> just ah. right there, pass it to her. <laughs> it's easy. Right there. Ah. Like, your your eyeballs can see things, and maybe this is like I'm seeing things. Like what are they doing? And and I go, oh okay. And it just takes a second. <laughs> it just takes a second longer than what you want it to take, and you're like, okay, oh, I get it. I get I got the play. <laughs> I get where we're going here. Okay, so fine. Bet. All right. So you're telling me why you don't like it as much as you like the NBA. That's not really what I asked, but I understand we're get we're, we're having a conversation. That is kind of a. No, I asked your, you like, your well, first well, question. My first question was like, what can it ever get to a point where it's just as entertaining? Like, said, no, fandom. because yeah, it's, it's no. when athletic. they start dunking. <laughs> Is what I said. Like, yeah, when they lower the rims and they start dunking. <laughs> and you know what? That okay. might actually be a thing. You know, if they did lower the rim and you see a girl just posterize another girl, man, like, damn, that's kind of. I'd cool. be like, who's about to get? Like, 
Who's about to do this? All right, we'll see. Or this, maybe this better saying. idea, better uniforms. Well, <laughs> <laughs> lots of titties and lots of ass. <laughs> <laughs> Just hooter the situation. <laughs> Just hooter okay. the situation up. <laughs> okay. There's there's one option. I'm not saying it's right or wrong. Do, or the, wrong. do, do, do those girls like the girl football players? <laughs> Have you seen oh, that? Oh yeah, yeah. Some girl is that even a, is that even like a thing? Is that a really thing? A thing? Some girl's a millionaire from it. She her first contract was like a million dollar contract. That uh chick from Atlanta. Okay. Track baby. Track baby? Yeah. She is bad as fuck. <laughs> Shout out. E. <laughs> I just asked you to thank you. You took the person that your reference is the track baby. Listen, whatever. I mean, hey. That's her Instagram it. name, like track baby 001 or some shit like that. Oh, yeah. It pops <laughs> right up. Is it? I told you. Whew. Yep. Typed in track baby and it was like 001. Oh, really? I mean, since everybody's doing it. I, I mean, the only person I know Instagram. We were name. telling the audience to do it, so I mean, we have to do it. I mean, come on now. <laughs> that, my friend, uh, is something serious. So she she in, she's in yeah. shape. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> she's in shape. Yeah, that is a great way to stay in shape. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand what's happening here. <laughs> this is like, like, so. So I didn't know this was a thing. So I can't speak to this because I don't know anything about it. So all right, cool. That's a thing. But exactly. they don't wear a lot of clothes. Like if you watch them playing like games, like they have like the shortest of the shorts on and like the tays are probably not a 90% of the time. <laughs> <laughs> but if you see the audience, there's a well, lot of this... women that are like, come on, titty pop out. <laughs> all right, well. Well, I'll say this. It, I mean, you guys have watched the WNBA in a while. But the natural, the natural trend in basketball outfits in general are just more form fitting in general. I know, I know. Yeah. LeBron started that, so LeBron started wearing like he basically got rid of the, the baggy. I wouldn't Jordan say. Boots. I thought it was James Harden. It was yeah, it wasn't LeBron. It wasn't LeBron. I, I thought I thought it was LeBron when he went to LA. Nigga, go back to mm-hmm. yeah. Oh no, that was because James was did cool. it before that. <laughs> I, I guess I wouldn't pay attention. These young this kids, is... like, I remember my nephew started hooping and they wanted the short shorts for some reason. I was like, what? I now <laughs> yeah. just got into that short short thing because my nephew's like, nigga, I know you old because you got them baggy ass shorts on. I was like, oh, <laughs> oh snap. <laughs> did, you, did you roll them up? Like, <laughs> nigga, I have <laughs> all, so all, all of my shorts go above my knee now just in case anyone's looking. I'm like, shit, I can't look like a scrub out here on the court. <laughs> no, I peeped, I peeped when the, when the, uh, when the, when, black dudes i saw the black dude starting to wear the uh the khaki shorts short i was like oh okay so we're doing this now okay fine the, the khaki we're, shorts we're tired of the jean shorts i never had a pair of jean shorts oh uh, <laughs> i was talking about basketball shorts and general basketball shorts like watch watch the young kids now they all they're all like on you can see their uh oh, that thigh. slider shorts now and then yeah. well i think i think i think shorts in general are, are now traditionally short I think that's what I'm saying. That was my point. Is that when I oh, saw yeah. that happening, I, that's when I paid attention, and I was like, "Well, I can't wear these baggy shits anymore." I don't think I have. <laughs> remember back in the day, we just wear cargo. We just wear like, like I used to have the camo shorts because you know. Oh yeah, maybe I do. I, I used to have those back in the day, but I didn't know what that whole thing was, so I just stopped wearing all of it. <laughs> it's like a Atlanta, Georgia kind of thing of like. I think it's West Virginia did it. Said it. But I mean, yeah, I saw a lot of. Mm-hmm. Like, I remember a lot of. The, I think that was a California thing. I thought like the, the Cali kids used to wear the the cargo, the the, the camo shorts with the with the crew necks. No, so they had but the more was, preppy was, look, but the Atlanta or Georgia had the like, more like saggy, like overgrown, they like did. the the, the extended they with the uh, like the drawstring and stuff. So Cali brought that, like, kind of altered it with like a, a prep look to it. Like a prep approach. Okay. Well, anyways, um, so in general, I mean, solar. I feel like if you're looking at the current trend of WNBA players, um, first and foremost, I don't want to be sexist when I say this, but there is a rise of WNBA players that um, this new breed of college girls are coming out of college or are jumping into it. Um, they are better. 
they are slightly better um, skill wise and it's concerned. Um, their general skills and how they play the game seems a little bit more silkier than I've seen before. And also as well, um, you know, not to be sexist, but I mean, if we're talking about dollars and we're talking about people actually paying attention, there is a huge influx of WNBA players now that are attractive, which they don't really go think. so far. I've never said that they were huh? attractive. I said they, they only go so far. They've uh, always been attractive. Not, not yeah, but this is a little different. I'll send you a couple people. I mean, oh, I mean, it's not going to make me watch a game. Yeah, it won't make me watch a game either. Like Candace, what Candace Parker, I thought was like the baddest girl in the world for a long time, but I never cared mm. to watch a game. <laughs> I did. All right, yeah, I thought she was. She can dunk. dunk, Chris. How can we don't want to watch her game? She dunked. She dunked I mean, game. I'm d- exactly it was like what I'm telling you, she she was beautiful to me, but I'm not going to watch you play basketball. <laughs> and it was like a barely dunk. Like if I'm on a breakaway, I might dunk. Well, listen, I'm going to say this. I mean, I guess we all have our thoughts and opinions. Um, for me, I don't have a necessary a general answer where I say, like, yes, this is the different thing that you can do. I feel like this Kobe, I think it takes, it does take the NBA um, influence in it. I think this huge surge that's going into the WNBA as of late is because of Kobe Bryant um, being a huge proponent and a huge pusher of the WNBA. Um so and actually investing into it so if more in nba players do that as some of these as some of these nba players have kids and their kids start playing basketball and they have you know girls or whatever you'll have some of that happening also as well the reason why i feel like there is a avenue because for all right for instance for me and, and I have to take it from another sport. So at one point in time, you know, female sports in general were in this dark cloud or what have you. Um, and a recent surge happened in the fighting world where, you know, we start to see female superstars be just as big as the men are. And um, when I noticed that, and I noticed that that now, like Amanda Nunez, when Ronda Rousey was running around, just as big as Connor was. Mm-hmm. Um, Amanda Nunez is just <clears throat> as big as, but it's not just as big as Connor. Amanda Nunez is not as big as Connor. But I mean, there's these women out here that are fighting, you know what I'm saying, and are starting to become household names. And you know, I don't know. And 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 honestly, the UFC, like Dana, was very adamant in saying that he just didn't want to do it. He, he thought it looked like fight he just didn't like the idea of having a woman fight and then Rhonda came and then she, shit okay money just just rained from the sky and then it was just like okay right. cool. but so, the, I mean, the difference of but, that is like Rhonda was knocking out like it was KOs to KOs like comparing it to the men it was actually like on par with skill levels like she was doing the same thing that the men were doing so that's so what I would counter you with WNBA and NBA? Are you saying is it, it is? Skill level's not on par? No, Mark. Exactly. <laughs> like what? No. <laughs> like, is it? <laughs> Do you think it is? Is that what you're saying? Yes, it is? No, no. Okay. I generally, <laughs> I'm I like, know, what? I'll be honest with you. <laughs> like, what? I think, I think that's an obvious one. I mean, even as, as much as I love the cake right now, I think that's an obvious thing. No, it's not. So, I mean, I that's what, some that's of what that has to do with the fact that it's just being a, it's a younger league, essentially. And, you know, it's... How but I mean, is, like, even women's, how old so, is women fighting? How old is that league? Younger than that. So, I mean, like, right. even if you take it back, like, 50 years, right? Give them 100 years. Like, what is that going to change? It's not going to change their physical development. <laughs> it's, not. Not. it's not. It's not. <laughs> I think you guys are just sexist. <laughs> that's what Mark just wants it to come off on. That's the, he's just trying to get. He's trying to get it there, and he's like, "Show is this the sexy, sexist ass man? All that is ridiculous. I can't believe it. We're gonna disband this podcast. This is ridiculous. Hey, man. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Way to go, Tim. Listen, she's looking to change the development. <laughs> it's not. It's not. I mean, I mean, but my, but this is my thing. This is my thing. Development also comes, evolution also comes with a, a, a little bit of intent. For instance, 
Like, if you, until we were, like, all right, if you look at the evolution of basketball in, in general, right, there are certain things that were happening that are happening now that weren't happening before, and that's why these kids are more athletic. The AAU teams came, and the AAU circuit became big. So now these high school kids, now these kids are in eighth grade, and they have physical trainers, and they have everything, and they're, they're athletes in eighth grade. And that has transcended. Well, women have the same, the same thing. The AAU circuit is not the same thing, bro. It's not. But they can still get a because physical they, trainer and, and, and do all the things that guys... T- but Chris, Chris, right now, but I'm talking basketball. about an aggregate total. I'm talking about aggregate total. And I'm not saying that if all these investments get put into the NBA... And so you're saying that there's no AAU piece for women? No, I'm saying the AAU circuit is not on anywhere in the same level as it is as the men, as, as the boys are. Because there's an NBA... There's a natural competition, like the, because the NBA is such a big thing, right? That trickles down. So the AAU circuit, the men's, the boys' AAU circuit, because it's traditionally always been that way, and because these guys, these kids, are traditionally trying to get into the NBA, and now the NBA is like a physical, a feel. There's like a, a actual like thing, right? Where like these are the structures that can get a kid to the NBA because this is like laid out now. You got these AAU, you got these AAU teams that are developing. You got all this infrastructure that's back behind it. It's a pipeline now. You know if your kid, you you like, you have an idea by, you know, when the kid touches middle school, if the kid has the potential to get it to at least college. I don't know if you have so, by then. Yeah, I wouldn't say by then because I mean, like, nah, you know, you have like know Pippen and Robin and all those and stories. I'm talking about now. I, I've seen middle kid, middle school kids now that I see in high school. And they're a completely different person. They got well, the coordination. You know, they they're they're taller now. Things just happened. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sure. And maybe I'm just coming from the perspective of I hear, but I hear. I mean, it, it's super competitive, so it starts mad early. Like if your kid is not, if by middle school you don't really have your kid, like you don't even fully it's, develop it's really, by middle school. Right. I'm just telling you what's happening out here. So, so what are you saying? I'm so just telling you what's happening like out here. the development from that as competitive as the league. Is- well, <clears throat> I'm saying that there's been a recent influx. The league has gotten more recognition as of late. They're still kind of behind, right? Mm-hmm. The WNBA again has gotten more recognition as of late, right? Um, with the push of Kobe, Kobe pushing that into it, especially now with Kobe's death, Kobe and um, Kobe's death, unfortunately. You're going to have, you know, that, I think you're going to have that push still kind of there in some degree. And with that being said, because of that, we're, you, I think you're going to get more people you, that infrastructure with the rise of popularity in the league, you're going to start to see the infrastructures increase. You're going to probably see a stronger AAU circuit. You're probably going to see stronger <clears> this, stronger <throat> that, so on and so forth. Because at the end of the day, like the AAU circuit basically controls, well, the, the AAU circuit basically is one of the things like the AAU and high school, um, these high school teams usually can kind of control the market. Obviously there's outliers that happen all the time. Of course, but I'm not saying that. I don't think that like raises your, your, so it raises your skill, but it doesn't raise like the interest of the game in a sense. Like if they had, if you have better yeah. athletes, it's not gonna raise the interest of the game. No, no, because the okay. the skill set, the, the the ending really, result is still gonna be the same thing with these. We two. have to want to like, see it. Like like for your yeah exactly. Okay. And for, for your example, right? Like the um, MMA with mm-hmm. uh, Ronda and all that. That comparison, like this, literally has been developed in what like the past ten years or something like that, and the women are already right there. Like no, it's well, literally okay. I mean, like either regardless, like it's in a 20, 20 year window, they've already caught up to the men and they're as entertaining as the men. So it's like it and I'm sure like it wasn't any iteration of these um AU teams coming about or these special camps to boost their skills or anything. It was just they had the same capabilities of knocking each other out as men do. And it's just not the same opportunity as the WNBA, like especially with the rim thing. Like I didn't even know that they had the same rim height. Like that's 
that. Okay, so I'll say this. That's a new, that's kind of a nuanced point. There's a lot more into that. Like, so for instance, like as far as the development is concerned, like there have been female athletes that have been training in other individual sports. MMA is generally young. It's a young sport in and of itself. Ronda Rousey was the zenith. Ronda Rousey is probably one of the best individuals on this earth in judo because she's good enough. And, you know, that kind of adds to your point. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Say that adding to Tim's point. point. <laughs> yeah. That kind of adds to your point because of the fact that she was that good. I mean, Ronda Rousey is good it's enough. It's not sexist. It's, you just have to be that good. You have to be entertaining. It, yeah. it's okay, nothing so about women saying, and men. Well, what I'm saying to you is this, is that Ronda Rousey had a special situation where she was in a special, you know, was raised in a special house where right. they basically got her to a point where her skills were so good. Like I've seen her, I've seen clips of her in Japan, like beating men and judo, throw, tossing men around. So she, you know, Japanese yeah. men. Like Ronda Rousey was just that good. So I mean, have but you seen my like point? Oh, go ahead. My point is that there's an infrastructure behind it. There was, you know, skill level. Okay, whatever. We got her to this. Okay, point. so it just takes once one, the one. W. NBA players, that's it. Well, one W. I mean, so yeah, and I was gonna say that. Like, I think, I think when 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 we get like the super superstars, right? We get one good WNBA superstar. I think the rest will follow. Number one, but I also feel like as the league gets more popular, the infrastructure of the developmental infrastructure is going to be invested downstream because more and more people are going to try to get into the WNBA. If the NBA is generating more dollars, let's just say. Let's say the NBA, WNBA is generating more dollars. Well, as the WNBA gets a little bit more popular, generates more dollars, the infrastructure is behind it. The, the so, college team, the AU, and the high school team, they're going to be better. You know, these girls are going to be better. They're going to be more athletic. So I'm here's the, the the fundamental problem with that. Okay. What chick do you know that's banging that doesn't want to go to the NBA? Like dunking. Nobody. So Who's dunking that's not in the NBA? I'm talking, in the I'm WNBA. About. Yeah, in the WNBA, my bad. Like, Which do you know a female? Time. Have you heard of a female that can dunk that is not in the NBA? I mean, in the WNBA. I'm not sure if there are females out there, but no. I say for the sake of this argument, like, no. I say no. I have I never play. heard it. I'm pretty sure that would go viral. So you um, mean to tell me that? So oh, yeah. okay. even with the development of specialized camp for women, to play basketball better, it's not going to raise their, I don't believe it would raise their level of play or their skill to actually raise it to a level of um, entertainment because the entertainment comes above the rim or the range of the shots or the, 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 the interaction between the two, like, you know, those last minute shots to the dunks, to the breakaways, like it's, I think we're more it's comfortable watching the WNBA highlights on ESPN because we just want to see the highlights. In an NBA game, we don't know when that's going to happen, so it's it's more entertaining to be like I was watching it when it happened. And I think that that's that's a, that's another like we I don't know it's it's hard to watch that I tell you what yeah okay. but the fighting stuff I mean, is, <laughs> when you when you compare that fighting it's just like yeah because she's on par with something that's entertaining yeah. like, it's entertaining to see someone get knocked the fuck out. Yeah, and you can take her out. Right, you could take her out of it. And I had went to like this amateur slash like amateur pro um, MMA fights, and the the women were entertaining there. And it's just because they're they're actually doing the, the same thing the guys thing. are doing. So yeah. it's like it's the same level of play. Okay, well, my point, my general point is this: I think that right now it's a younger league. So with it being a younger league and it has not generally been as popular, you're not necessarily seeing the infrastructure, um, the developmental infrastructure that you're seeing in the NBA. Um, from from my and just this is just my knowledge of like. So do you think if we took that away? If we took that away, the NBA wouldn't be fun to watch at, at this point. If they didn't have all of that and they were just. No. Chris, I am not. Chris, I am not living in a delusional state where I'm stating that you know there are not physical differences between men and women. I'm not doing that. What I'm stating is that the WNBA has an opportunity 
as more as it gets more popular and as the AAU circuit and all these other things that come about in, in development happen, like once that happens, we're going to see better female athletes. The reason why Ronda Rousey is just as good as some of the men, she's not necessarily developmentally stronger than a lot of the men. She's good as some of the men because of the training. Her mom was a judo champion. Her dad was a judo champion. Champion. That's just what it is. So training. Don't think, she trained. But I'm saying out, outside of her, though, like, I mean, it's still entertaining. Huh? No, it is. It is entertaining. Listen, guys, I'm not arguing. It. Like, first of all, the entertainment factor is essentially there's mo- people watch basketball for multiple things. Some people just like the game, essentially. Mm-hmm. There are some people who just like the dunks. You guys like the athleticism of it. Some people like some of the skill I mean, levels. The skill, skill mainstream. Points. Stephen Curry, Stephen Curry is one of the, the best, one of the top 10 most popular NBA players. He basically changed the game and he shoots threes. We don't see that nigga go above the rim. Allen Iverson is one of the most popular NBA players. And that nigga did, has like maybe one or two dunk highlights. Like, right. But NBA I mean, players. crossing people up though. That was back in the but, time. Yeah. Okay. I was about to and say, so they had their own thing. But that is a skill set that can be developed over time. So all I'm saying to you is that like, there is no like, natural like if a girl like a handle but can be taught but you can teach someone to handle no nah, i not. mean no because if if it was taught then how come everybody isn't having that like you're just you're saying the 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 development the finance or whatever has been put in place for the men to actually come out here and execute at this high level then how come every uh point guard isn't out here crossing up like ai and that was a couple of generations ago because like, not, every given, point guard, not every point guard is focused on that. But you give, have to understand your, that. Giving your method, the... But beforehand, that wasn't place, how the game was the played. Development. But I'm saying. The development... The game wasn't there, played that way. AMC. Before Allen Iverson, the game wasn't played like that. The, you had to be... If you were a point guard, you had to play like John Stockton. Okay, so but now, nowadays. Right? Okay, but now it is. is. And now you see yeah. more kids... Since AI, you see more kids with a ball handle. With a street ball handle. Just like before Kevin Durant got in the league... When you were seven foot, you were not allowed to shoot beyond sixteen beyond sixteen foot. Now all these kids that are seven foot and above are launching through. It's I necessary it. now. Right. So as the league, so basically that's just a function of the league changing, and that's just so, a function of training and infrastructure behind it changing with it. But it's it's. I'm not saying they're so, going to be as athletic as the men. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that there's going okay. to be an aggregate difference as. As the league gets more popular, we're going to see an aggregate difference in how these girls are. And I think we'll get to a point where it's entertaining and people are going to watch it. That's all I'm um, saying. So are they going to like windmill is, like Vince Carter? No, they're not. I don't, that's not going to happen. I don't see it happening. So what I'm saying but, is like for me, but, like enhancing their skill set, which is just shots and layups, is still not going to pull the mainstream into WNBA because that's just not entertaining to the mainstream, obviously. I guess we'll just disagree on that. Yeah. Sexist. I mean, Jesus. mainstream. Chris. I mean, the, the numbers. You did good, Chris. You did good, Chris. Numbers. You did good. I, I agree with Tim. You did. <laughs> I know what you did. Same. I, I...